well, talking about health, well, actually about back in a couple of months ago myself, I actually um, decided to change my eating habits. You know, uh, when I changed my eating habits, I went from, you know, eating like a lot of high carb type of food, you know what I mean, like a lot of pizzas, a lot of breads, a lot of fried chicken, definitely a lot of cakes and stuff. And I went to, when I first did it, I completely cut sugar out. I mean completely. I did not touch anything that had sugar in it, anything or process, anything like that. I switched over to eating damn near nothing but just salads and stuff. And um, when I did that, I think I should have cold turkey into it. I mean, I think I should just gradually went to it instead of, like, just what I did, just jump right into it. Because when I did that, um, I was eating, you know, like, breakfast omelets, you know, like, egg, you know, egg omelets with all greens. So it had broccoli, spinach, um, green peppers, but no cheese and nothing like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, also, I wasn't drinking salt. I always, I've been stopped drinking soda, so that wasn't even an issue. And, and fruit juices. So that was breakfast. Uh, lunch, um was mostly um, salads. That's why I was ordering all that salad from Panera, but that shit was expensive, but I was, I was still ordering it. Problem is, after that, I wasn't eating anything for the rest of the day to the following day, so I was going almost 20 hours between meals after that. So when I was doing that, I started having um, anxiety attacks and stuff like that when I first started. Um, and in the evenings, I was, um, I was like real dizzy and stuff. I couldn't, I was so dizzy, I couldn't even sleep because I was so dizzy. And, um, I was like, my stomach was growling and stuff like that. I was experiencing constipation and things like that. And um, while well, I wouldn't research all these, all this to come find out those are actually symptoms, believe it or not, of switching over to a vegan diet the way I did. Though that that does happen, and there are quite a few people that can testify that. Okay, yeah, that does happen. You, you do experience things like that. So um, then at the time when I actually start eating just a little bit more, and you know, start feeling better and everything. You know, like I say, it's been an up and down here journey, you know. Sometimes, you know, you had a, I don't say dizzy spells, you know, feel like I'm off balance, stuff like that. But still, you know, body's still getting adjusted, stuff like that. But in the process, I ended up losing about, from the time I started to now, about 50 pounds. You know, because I was, because my, my, my weight was close to um, 260. Damn. Yeah, I was close to 260 when, um, when I started that. So, what brought about the change is the fact that I was, I was sitting here, you know, I come to work, and I was like, you know what? I eat entirely too much food for the amount of work I do. And I don't even eat healthy on top of that. Like, I'm like, I was like, I'm 33 years old. I have no reason to be looking like, you know, a married dude who's been in a depressive marriage for the past five years. (laughs) (laughs) We 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 were speaking on marriage in this one, too. All right. I mean, like, like I had no reason to look that way. So, I like, you know, let me just switch up. So, I switched up, you know, I... You know, first it was the diet, so I got the diet down pat, then I started hitting the gym. Um, when I hit the gym, you know, I, I think I went too hard when I went to the gym the first time, because I was working out for an hour um, a day for six days a week. You know, half, you know, 30 minutes of cardio, 30 minutes of weight training. So I was like, okay, I'm doing a bit too much. So I kind of cut back on that. And um, I tried to log all the stuff on, the, on my Fitbit. That was before I got the Fitbit wrist brand I got now, but I was trying to log everything. Try to get an accurate readout of my progress, but I wasn't getting nowhere near accurate. But that's why I bought Fibbin, I found out, like, damn, I'm burning a lot more calories than I thought. And I realized that I was severely under-eating. Yeah, so I'm like, the thing is, if a person wants to lose weight, especially get toned, uh, your nutrition got to be on point, and also, you got to make sure you're eating enough, because cutting out food and trying to lose weight at the same time is not good, because you may find yourself losing muscle, losing things mm-hmm. that you don't want to lose. Because the thing is, the difference between weight loss and fat loss. You know, a lot of people may think I'm losing weight. Like, yeah, but weight just come from where? It's come from fat or come from muscle or come from water. Dang. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Um, right now, I'm, what was it? Uh, I fell off the wagon for this month. I'm like, I mean, for this, yeah, we just started, for this week. For this this week, I've been working late, you already know. Um, so I haven't really had time to get to the gym uh, all this week. Um, and then even before that, I'd say I was I started to slip off the wagon or the bus or whatever the hell you want to say of a, of my better diet that I started to, started to design like um, last month, actually yeah like Juneish Juneish early Julyish whatever. Uh, I started to fall off the wagon uh, for the last couple of weeks whatever. I was like getting climbing back on the wagon and falling back off. So I, I got to get get my ass back on the wagon. But um, but I, exa- the last thing you said yeah I know exactly how it was because uh, when I was in high school. Um, 
humble brag, I guess. Mm. Um, I was like five percent body fat. Uh, I weighed one forty, 140, one forty five, one forty when I was in uh, during wrestling season, and then gained five pounds, so one forty five. And then when I gained that five pounds, I, I probably gained five pounds of fat, maybe I don't know, because um, I had um, did it. We had in school, we had to do um, the uh, body mass index uh, test, whatever. And it said I was only five percent body fat now, and it was like a they, uh, it was like a small pain. It was like that much of fat I had at that point in time. It was it was that small. I was like, oh man, this is awesome. So I was hype as hell, um, and it was crazy because like I was uh, intense dieting. I mean, when you do anything like really intense workouts, such as um, wrestling, uh, basketball, football, um, and mainly any fighting sport in general, you will be losing a considerable amount of weight. Now, not necessarily football. And not necessarily baseball either, because those are just like, granted, you're running long distances, but they're like they're just like sp- sprints in that city. You're not const- your, your entire body's not constantly moving. It's like you're you have to wait for the huddle, break, go tackle somebody, or if you're um, a running back, run or, or tackle or whatever. You're it's it's just a short break, and it's like and granted, it's like for several hours, whatever. But you're not doing anything constantly compared to being uh, like basketball. Um, maybe hockey uh, and any stuff like that when you have to constantly move back and forth whatever and like in wrestling and stuff like that so uh, kickboxing boxing etc so you'll lose a considerable amount of weight but anyway um, then uh, was, I was uh, at the after that uh, after that season I, I started putting more weight but actually mainly putting on more muscle like I didn't I pretty much ate the same, but I just started hitting the gym a lot more because, of the contrary to most beliefs, I thought when I joined the wrestling team that I will get like bigger, like these are why strong and everything. But I basically stayed the same uh, because I lost way more calories than I could put on. Even uh, even uh, my mom some like make spaghetti and like a lot of like calorie uh, induced. A heavy calorie level uh, food not necessarily bad for your health but like a lot of calories in it like sp- pasta and stuff like that uh, uh, chicken veggies and rice and stuff brown rice and stuff like that so it was like high in calorie but pretty good for your health um, I would eat that like at the wrestling practice and stuff like that and even eat it for like lunch sometimes and, and I, I couldn't keep the weight on because of like intense workouts and stuff like that and the sweat room and everything it was like hot as hell so at the wrestling season I still continue in the same way but I wasn't losing as much um, like fat because it was staying on me and I started getting more bulkier not necessarily fat but just bulkier and like I was pretty jacked um, and then just at the high school uh, just like stuff went downhill um, got my heart broken lost my job whatever and I just like like lost a, all my muscle I was basically skin and bones I, I think I was at one point in time probably 0% body fat I probably, probably weighed about like one. 25, 130, and that was that was with a little bit of muscle and regular body parts I had left. Man, you probably had a six pack and all that shit. Then. Yeah, no, I, I, for some reason I never had a six pack. I had like a four pack for some reason. I don't know why. Um, if you look, if you go to my Facebook, you see the pictures. Like the pictures are like really grainy and blurry because I was using a shitty ass camera. But that if you see the picture from like, but you had like. Big muscles in it? No, it was oh. it was small. It was like if anybody knows what Dragon Ball Z is, I basically look like a black super boob, uh, kid boo, basically, but taller. Like anybody who knows <laughs> anybody who knows kid boo, except for I, I didn't have like big ass like genie pants. I just like I didn't. I was just oh, okay. Yeah, I, like I was like really toned and really small, uh, but I look like basically a black kid boo. That's pretty much how I would describe it. Um, and but yeah, people didn't intimidate too many people then. No, I mean my face still did, and like, and I guess I had a decent height, but um, yeah, I mean, but when I was definitely in high school, I pretty much a tim- like a lot of people. Didn't, some people didn't want to talk to me because they, they were afraid of me. I'm like, oh, whatever. I just, I don't know. Um, so anyway, but fast forward for right now, um, yeah, I'm, I put on a considerable amount of weight. Um, I like, I'm kind of like um, Oprah Winfrey and. Uh, 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 Cause she used to yo-yo diet a lot. I know when I was a kid. Um, and why can't I remember Luther Vandross? They used to say him and Oprah used to um, yo-yo weight a lot. It's basically okay. when you gain a lot of weight, lose a lot of weight, gain a lot of weight, lose a lot of weight. Because I had uh, lost a lot of weight, gained, and I just my entire body has been like a. But I never, I never like a fix. Except for when I got like lost all my fat and like was like straight muscle um, before I got to wrestling season. That's when I was like really conceited and like. Constantly like looking at my body, and like literally, I shit you not. Whenever I go to the bathroom, anywhere, 
uh, my, my my freaking brother and his, my brother um, girlfriend so they were having their first kid and when she was giving her birth uh, well we were waiting we were waiting in the waiting room for like for a long ass time and I was like you know I gotta use the bathroom so I went to the bathroom did my business and I was just spend like 10, 15 minutes looking in the mirror, like looking at my abs. <laughs> I was just like, I was like, oh yeah. I was just, I was just so vain. It was just disgusting. You almost caught a Donna's compound. <laughs> I did. I did. I whenever I seen past the mirror, and like even in even in the hallways in school, where like when like oh, I would ask to go to the bathroom during class, and I had to use the bathroom actually. And then that, like if I see the reflection of my body, I'm like look around, see, make sure nobody's looking at me, and I would just like start flexing and pull up my shirt. I was, just, I had an issue, man. It is, it is really an issue. So, uh, um, body weight is an issue. Both right. like you just took your shirt off, walked down what. Outside of school, oh, I, I did. Uh, like, like, back your shit during, the, yeah, I did. Like during the summer, like towards the end of the school years, whenever it got hot, I used to take my shirt off, or I used to pull my shirt over my head, and uh, I still have my shirt on technically, but only with the sleeves on. And I used to just like run home or walk home, whatever. Just I used to even jog. I remember one time, um, me, my older brother. Um, and my older cousin, we were driving to the movies in my uh, older brother's beat up car, and his car broke down on us, and we were like down the road from the movie, so we had to hitchhike. Well, I think it ran out of gas, that's what it was. And we had to hitchhike, um, like, I think like two miles down to the gas station to get some gas. Uh, me and my, um, and at the time, me and my um, older cousin, we were like in decent, like, incredible shape. And no offense to my older brother, he was in so much good shape as we were. So we were just like, me and my cousin were just like freaking. Power running to the freaking gas station. We were just like, this was like easy cake, man, easy as hell. And then we got to the thing, and it was it was fun, man. So, um, but but anyway, get back to how fat I am now. Um, I just keep falling with the wagon, get back on the wagon. Bro, you keep saying you're fat, man. I'm like, I man. I mean, I know we about the same what weight, just about, but we just. Oh. And I say I know we about the same weight, but the thing is, we ain't got the same body type. Uh, you true. say you say you what fat like. Yeah, I mean, I just have my belly and, like, some thighs, and that's about it. So, I, once I get rid of that, I'll be in better uh, viewing, I guess. But, excuse me. And you have your red light, regular shirt, man. They're like guns to me, bro. I mean, but that's... I, uh, also, the funny thing is, even when I was in, like, perfect shape, um, I still got made fun of, because they used to think I took steroids and never took steroids. Um, I mean, they you like, had a lot of admirers back then who didn't want tell to you, tell you that, because uh, people make fun of you. Like they're like no, nah, somebody somebody wants to smash. That's probably what it was. No, I mean probably a lot of chicks want to smash, but too scared to come up to you. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get that many offers uh, for right, famous gay. I don't, I don't know. But even like to my one of my one of my uh, closest friends, um, aunt, he, he used to <laughs> when we first met, he was like, yo, you took serious. I'm like, no, man, I, I just work every day. He was like, really? He was like, I was like, yeah. So it, all through high school, he used to call me steroids and stuff like that. Like I don't know why. And I'm like, I wasn't the biggest guy in school. I, I don't understand why. It, but I'm um, smart ass. Like, nah, fool. I keep a can of spinach in my shirt. I, I, that. <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't that clever. I was just. Me, neither was I. Yeah. Um, if I could go back, like high school, middle school, with the cleverness I got now. Right. I know. Ooh, I see that all the time. Yeah, I, would, in my head. I would just. I just be roasting. I'll be roasting people too much. I'm like, yeah, I wish I was that quiet dude back in the first time around. Like, nah. I mean, I was I was tough enough to take the thing because I knew if it if it came down for me actually having to like physically fight somebody, I would win most of the time anyway. So that's why I was like, ha ha ha, that, that's good. But no, I don't I don't take service. But a lot of people, even my I think some family members, were like, hey, why do you only work on your arms? I'm like, I don't always work on my arms, but I mean that's the reason why because I I kind of did when I reflected because I used to do like, um, hundred sit ups, fifty uh, sets. Uh, what was it? Three sets or five sets of uh, ten bench presses, and uh, uh, just uh, three sets of uh, ten curls um, every day, like well five days a week, five or six days a week, and then like um, hundred push-ups. This guy used to do every day when I was in high school. Um, if I was on the wrestling team, like uh, when I was, because I used to my shed at home was like my gym, so I actually, and then it was a hot box too. So that's another reason why I lost a crap load of pounds. Damn. Yeah, so that's that's what I did every day. So granted, if you want to say, yeah, you probably worked on your arms a lot, I probably did. But that's the reason why, that's the only thing I kept. Because even when I was, like, straight skinny, I was, like, my arms are still, like, super sculpted. So that's the only reason why I, even today, I'm still, like, uh, my arms are pretty solid. Like, I still have a little bit of jelly on my arms, but it's 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 not that noticeable. Especially if I'm wearing my, uh, my medium shirts, which shows my gut, but it shows my arms and my uh, pegs. That sounds. That's this. This statue sounds kind of gross. Like damn. Everything I'm. Everything I'm describing is kind of. Hey, but thing is, you've been like hitting the gym much longer than I have. I just recently started, man. 
So for me to get to where I want to be at, it's going to take still going to take me a little while. You no, know, with proper nutrition and everything, I make sure I get everything I got. Um,